Hello everybody! <laughs> How's it going? Uh, something is going on here. Just as I was starting to record, all these lasers started appearing, and I think it might be Mr. Generic B. But I could be wrong. <laughs> what is this? Oh, is this a glitch? It goes all the way up. There's like a green... Or is this some kind of feature? Oh, you know what? I bet you I somehow turned this on. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, I know what this is. Because uh, I went to record, and then I stopped, and they disappeared. Then I went to record again. Uh, we're in a new version of the Minecraft uh, mod pack, and I, I heard people talk about this. There's uh, a... <laughs> my record key is F9, and I think that's what turns this on and off. So I got to... Uh, actually, we can check that. Controls. Is there an F9 on here somewhere? No. Oh, man. I don't want to change my record key. Hmm. I'm going to stop recording just to check. Okay. Stopping it did not make it disappear, but when I started again, it just disappeared. So it must be some chunk boundary feature I'll have to learn about. But yeah, we're in the new mod pack. Uh, what have I been up to here? Well, I got some island building going on. It's going kind of slow. I feel I got to add some height over here, but I'm not sure what to do. Um, if we take a step back, maybe we'll get an idea. It's a weird shape for an island. I think what we got to do is make it like a mountain almost over there, and we'll have a river that comes down there, and a river that kind of follows the slant of the the base there. So a river will go down all the way there and do something maybe as well. And yeah, anyway, that's going okay. Uh, I got a new quarry set up. We could go check that out. It's, it's running at the moment. I used up just about everything I had, like all my iron and all that was gone. So I, I desperately needed to start up a new quarry. This is my third one now since I've been on the on this map, this new Feed the Beast map. And again, I did the biomass setup. Uh, we do have locomotives now. Like I, I never did get my train set up working because as soon as I had it all set up properly, uh, we we got an update that wrecked trains, and now trains work again. So I should really try fix that. Yeah, we're getting some good stuff here. So this is how I did it this time. Re used uh, these conduits. Got eight bio bio engines and a fermenter up here with a hopper, which looks like it's empty. Just about. So I'll have to refill that. And getting some stuff. Mm -hmm. Just gonna snag these. Really need shards and a bunch of other stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna go get my steam locomotive and maybe we'll try figure out how that works and see if we can get it moving stuff from there back to our island like we originally wanted. All right, check it out. I got it figured out. Woohoo! <laughs> so I can control it, which is good. Generic B, I asked the guys in Generic B. Uh, he did a Google search and and linked me to it. Basically, I had to go. I don't think you can control it in the game like the key you use. You have to go to your. Uh, well, for me, since I'm using the Minecraft mod pack, went to the Minecraft folder, then config, then. There's an nei.cfg config file. You open that up, and then there's key bindings, and you change the chunk uh, overlay. It's at 67, the key. I changed it to 66, which is F8, uh, which I forgot is smooth camera. <laughs> so I might change it to F7, but I think F7 does something too. So that might be a bad idea. 
You need so many keys and feed the beast. It's crazy. Okay, but anyway, let's let's have some fun with the trains. Uh, I read up on it. I think it uses the same fuel as the steam boilers from Railcraft. So I think I can use like charcoal or uh, I think biofuel will work, like from biomass. If I convert that to biofuel, I think I can use that or regular fuel. Um, so let's just try to make a train here. This is the right track, right? Yeah, it goes around. All this stuff here, I'm going to have to move. This is actually going to go into Processing Island, I think is the proper place for it. Uh, so when stuff goes from a quarry, when I get stuff from a quarry, I'm going to want it to go uh, to the Processing Island first, and then the refined stuff will come to this island. Ooh, ooh. Oh no, I did it. Don't go backwards, you're a train. Go forwards, don't go off, you're not ready yet. Oh no. Oh. It was able to split from these guys. Okay, this is a bad spot to be experimenting with this. We'll have to go down. Alright, this is better. Um, maybe we'll just do a couple carts. Just to see if it even works. Yeah, when I first looked at these trains, like it's so confusing. You got all these different things. You got temperature, you got two two liquid spots. I think one of these is for water and the other one's for the fuel if you're li using liquid fuel. And I think this is for Actually, I have no idea what this is for. I think this is for the f Oh, this might be like reserve. Oh, okay, yeah. Extra spots. That goes there. It's not burning. Oh, no. Does it need water to run? No, it's still not going. Oh, it's on shutdown. <laughs> that could be why. Let's turn that to running. There we go. 40, 40, 50. Maybe have to has to warm up maybe to get going. Kind of thought it would go right away. 90. Does that have to get all the way to the top? That's going to use a ton of fuel. Look how quick it's burning. Oh, there we go. It's making steam. This is going down, so it does need water. Wow, that's fast. <laughs> Woohoo! That is pretty cool. The nice thing about these trains, like if there's a mob on the track, apparently it'll just go right through them. It won't stop for them. Yeah, I'm fast too. I got my special boots. Over here. Sweet. This charcoal stuff is not going to work though. It's using it so fast. Oh, I guess once it warms up, it slows down. Because it's still at 55. Will it stop? Yeah, it stopped at the biomass one. Right? Liquid unloader. Oh. Is it trying to unload the water? That's weird. Well, if this is for steam, how do you use biofuel? Because you would need another thing for that, wouldn't you? This is strange. Maybe you can't use that. Go. Hmm. So, as far as size goes, this is much bigger than a normal cart, I think. Huh. So, yeah, I, I'll be able to set something up with these. This looks pretty good. Oh. So, another thing I'm wondering about with these locomotives, uh, do they go up these elevator tracks? Because I had a lot of trouble... Uh, getting this to work before, I, I found five carts was the maximum I could do. So, these, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Oh yeah, it's going. I want to make sure it can go up and down still. Oh, 
That car jumped in the air. That's not a good sign. Um, and it's going down. I think we're just lagging. I think that's... Oh, no. It did split. Darn. Why did it split? And off it goes. Yeah, that didn't work. Mm hmm. Okay, I, I think a new idea I'm going to have with this, because I'm having a lot of trouble with these elevator tracks. Uh, with this new island, since we got to redo everything uh, in in that room, uh, maybe one of the waterfalls I'll make go off the island down, down below, and I'll hide uh, pipes in the water that will take items from below and bring them up to the island instead of sending the train up the island. Uh, that would be a lot simpler and less buggy, I'm sure. Man, I really like this tree farm. <laughs> it turned out really well. I'm glad I made it like that. Uh, so with this new patch, we got some new stuff in Feed the Beast that we can play around with. The one thing that really catches my eye, there's an advanced electric jetpack now, which has a million EU, and if you compare that to this one, the normal ones, that's they have 30,000, so this is pretty interesting. And it's fairly straightforward to make, pretty cheap. Um, well, not cheap, it's kind of in between, mediocre item. Uh, these are fairly easy to get. So we're going to try and make one of those. I also see there's a gravity tool, which would be good to have. I think it's a combination of electrical tree tap and wrench all in one which is cool because if you use a wrench on stuff usually it'll run out of power in one or two uses I find uh, so if you got 100,000 EU you might get a bit more out of it without having to refill it so we're gonna make those items and we'll try them out okay I got everything we need together here uh, let's make the advanced jetpack and I'm just trying to go from memory here <laughs> see how well I do um, that there and nope ta-da advanced jetpack awesome so this might have some extra features to it too I'm not sure if it's exactly like the original I'm guessing it uses more power though like I'm, I'm sure that's a trade-off to it like it's not as efficient on power and we will make this too just to see what it does um there it is sweet okay let's go charge these up so yeah i set up that other area now for charging so I'm kind of I'm really sick of that cave. <laughs> I want out of there. It's so so depressing down there. But this is just a temporary setup over here. Okay. Yeah, those those didn't work out too well. So let's see how quick this thing charges. Uh, we'll do. The, oop, there's my other one. Do that. Whoa, that was instant. Why is this fully charged already? That's weird. Okay, how's it look? <laughs> That's pretty cool. I think it looks better than the other one. And let's try it out. These glasses, by the way. I hate how these glasses look. <laughs> but it's such a good item. I have to use it. Oh, no half a heart <laughs> I couldn't fly what the heck <laughs> oh this is fully charged because I made it with a fully charged lap pack I bet okay so it's not space bar like it was before that's interesting okay Oh, it is space part. What? No, I still have this on. 
just pressing random keys. That did it. <laughs> okay, let's check our controls. Oh, jump spacebar. I might have to mess with this off camera to figure it out. I figured it would be the same. Boost key, left control. Alt key. Yeah, I'm going to mess with this off camera because it's probably going to take me a while to figure it out. Energy level 100%. Does it? Oh, it charges my tools even as I use it, I think. Yeah, it's yeah, it's going down. Oh, that's cool. It's like a lap pack then. Okay, I got it here. It's the gravity fly key. Uh, so I set that to V just to try this. That turns the engine on and off. If it's on, and does it drain power? No. Why would you want to turn it off? Woo! <laughs> and there's a hover mode. Yep. Ooh, I think it's heavier, like, than the normal one. Maybe not. It's hard to tell. Woohoo! <laughs> Yeah, you can turn it off in midair. That's cool. Whee! <laughs> and still live. And the power lasts forever, it looks like. Wow. How high can we fly with this one? Because that was a issue with the other one. I couldn't really fly high enough to work on my island stuff. Like, this was the limit. Oh, yeah, we're going above that already. Like, right here was the limit, the height limit on the other one. Ooh, <laughs> we're still going, wow. Oh, this is it. 244? Yeah, 244 about. And at 98%, this thing is insane. I thought it would use more power, but I think it's the same. It just has a huge battery. Huh. Alright, so let's try this out. Um, whoop. I guess this will till soil, right? Let's try it here. <laughs> It'll till soil. And it acts as a... as a gatherer. For, right? No, nope, maybe not. No, I can't get it with this. Oh, there might be a mode switch. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> oh, that is awesome sound effects. <laughs> Tree tap. That sounds so cool. <laughs> Alright, lots of fun tools. The, a big thing with this mod pack, though, is there's, like, thumb, thumb craft bees. And I just noticed... If we go to the propolis, propolis, there's some new propolis types that get you the shards, which is something I actually need, so I gotta figure out how to get these. 13% chance from Dull. Uh, you got all the different types. So that's pretty cool. And there is new uh, research stuff to figure out in the Th Thamanomicom related to bees I think so I'm gonna maybe mess with that right now and just see if we can unlock everything um, yeah that jetpack that's pretty powerful yeah this is a new branch I was open this and this and some stuff here some bee thing here I might need to unlock this to get the thumb the thumb craft bees I'm not sure and this is interesting there's a sapling Huh, so I'm going to mess around with this, and I will be right back. Well, I believe I got all the new Thomcraft stuff researched now. Uh, well, let's see, what did we all get? Uh, this is just a branch off, nothing there. And that led to... We got six new frames, or at least that's what I got. Six new frames here. This is just a 
a general one uh, that uses Thomcraft Aura, I believe. Yeah, and it lasts longer than a normal frame you would make with sticks and string. Then there's a resilient one, which is iron plus that, and this it will increase the bee's working speed and consume aura to offset received wear and tear. So uh, makes makes the bees work faster. That means you get more stuff from them, uh, and th the frame lasts a long time. But it takes energy, thumbcraft energy, to to run. Uh, there's a gentle frame, extends the life expense expectancy of a working queen and encourages workers to move at a slightly increased pace so again extra items from them it takes this which you can only get from cakes I believe uh, then there is this one what is this one cause the bees to become sluggish reducing their work speed and severely unhealthy greatly diminishing the current generation's lifespan oh this is good if you're trying to breed impurities out of bees. I think, yeah. Um, there's this one. This one's really weird. It increases their working speed, but there's a slight chance that they will mutate with this frame. So this is good if, uh, if you're looking for mutations in bees, but... You know, if you're just trying to get items alone from the bees, this is not necessarily good because you, if your bee mutates, then you will no longer have <laughs> the the guys making what you want from them. And then this one is just uh, what was this one? Extends the life. It extends the life of the bees by quite a bit. It looks like. And what else did we get? Two two main bee branches here stark bees so I think this is how you get into the thumb draft bees from these guys not sure how you get them and then later they advance into these guys and I think these are the ones that make the the propolis I want that gives you the shards uh, but they're at like at the end of the line so it's not going to be easy to get and we have a thumb craft scoop a grafter for trees and then one last little thing here, some way of getting more appetite from appetite by making this stuff. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'll be using quite a few of those things, I would think. Um, so one more thing I want to do with this episode. I just wanted to check if biofuel does work. So I set up a still here to make some with our little thinky setup. We will put that in this loader. We'll put our train underneath and just see what happens. Oh. Okay, that that looks like it doesn't work. It would have stayed there. Let's push it back just to double check. Hmm. So it looks like it's limited to solid fuels like uh, charcoal, cold coke, that kind of thing. Interesting. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to get going for today. Thank you for watching. and uh, Very soon we will complete this island. Don't worry. Uh, hopefully, maybe even next time we'll, we'll finish it up and put the grass on and shape it and all that. So I'll see you guys then. Have a good day.